Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Thursday, November 14th, 2019. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in today. All right, looking at this market, we have the S&P 500 E-mini futures trading lower by four and three quarter points to 30, 90 and three quarters per contract. All in all, you're gonna see that the market's kind of slumped a little bit yesterday. Today, they're doing more of the same. This is an options expiration week. Tomorrow will be options expiration for the month of November. So we'll see if we get some more backing and filling. That seems to be what's taking place, at least at the moment. But we have stocks in the news, so let's get started there. We're going to start off with a big one here, Cisco Systems. Uh, stock right now is trading at $45.79. Closed at $48.46. So pretty good little haircut here. This is a very important level for Cisco to hold at $45. If it breaks through there, uh, this stock is very, very vulnerable to much further downside. So I'll have levels in case we do break, but right now 45 is the support level that is in play. So we'll be keeping an eye on this one this morning. We'll be watching this uh, once the opening bell rings. Next up, I wanna take a look at another behemoth here, which is Walmart. Walmart right now uh, trading at 122.99, briefly got above 125.50. Stock closed yesterday at 120.98. So it's still holding some gains. Walmart came out with earnings. They also upped their guidance. Uh, nothing really wrong with the stock. It is really a powerhouse name. But if it does fail today and it does sell off, there's still a ton of support around the 116.50 level. Keep that on the radar. I'm not even sure we're going to get down there, but you never know when you have earnings, anything can happen. So be on your toes. As for upside, um, I would have to think, you know, 125.50 is probably a very good uh, overbought resistance point. It's not a resistance point because the stock's at a new all time high. Uh, but nonetheless, when you take a look at the daily chart, Walmart getting up around 125 is getting a little bit stretched, at least for this stock. So we'll see how it plays out right now, sitting at 123.10. Next up, we want to take a look at Dillard's DDS, another retailer there. That stock's doing very well in the pre-market, trading up around $73. I think it could go to 74.50. I don't see it going a lot past that, but it can because it's a light volume name. Generally on a good day, the stock probably trades 300,000 on a normal day, probably trades 150,000 shares. So just understand, light volume stocks can go higher than most people think. If the stock sells off, there's pretty good support around 64, but we'll have to go back to the drawing board due to the volume nature in this equity. So again, we'll be keeping this one on the radar today. Next up, I want to take a look at Canopy Growth. This is a cannabis stock trading at 1705 after earnings, closed at 1850. Ouch. This just remains in a steady downtrend. There's really nothing else to say. Um, we'll see how it plays out. I don't have any real good level yet. I do have a level lower. So I'll give that out uh, in the intraday uh, day trading room once uh, if we get there. I'm not even sure we'll get down there. But again, we'll keep an eye on this one uh, at the opening bell and we'll see what it does. Next up, we have NTAP in play. NTAP. This stock right now trading at 59.87. Closed at $60.07, so nothing terrible, nothing great. A little bit of down ticking, lots of support on a Pierce of $52. So let's call it $51.85, $51.75, somewhere there. If it does get down that low, I'm not even sure that will happen. Next up, take a look at Beezer Homes. BZH is the ticker symbol here. Stock right now is trading at $13.80. Closed at $14.67. So this is coming under a little bit of pressure. This is a pretty big support level down around the 1350. So we're gonna keep that on the radar. We'll see how it plays out. Um, all in all, I would just remain neutral on Beezer today. At least for now, once the opening bell rings, we'll take a closer glance. Let's take a look at the old uh, C-Trip, which is now called trip.com. Ticker symbol is TCOM. Uh, this stock right now trading at uh, 3193, closed at 3275. So a little bit of down ticking there. I don't love it, I don't hate it. I still think there's a lot of support around the 28 level if it does get there. Next up, uh, let's take a look at Viacom. V-I-A-B is a ticker symbol there. They are merging with CBS, so I'm not sure we can make too much out of it. Right now, the stock is trading at 22.55, closed at 22.05. So you got a little uptick. There's a ton of resistance at 24 if it gets up that high. Next up, I want to take a look at the Chinese ADR, Sina Corp, S-I-N-A. Stock is trading at 37.21, closed at 41.45. This is a pretty ugly sell-off. Um, I do think there's a lot of support, though, 
around 3650, 3675 if it gets that low. So keep that on the radar. Let's do another Chinese ADR here, uh, which is WB, which is Weibo. Stock is trading at 4620, closed at 5278. So this is a pretty good haircut here. Uh, when I look at this name, I have to think that the stock probably has some pretty good support around the 45 level. So keep 45 on the radar. It might be a slight pierce of 45, but that would be the support level I'm seeing for Weibo intraday today. All right, let's go over now to the gold market. Gold futures uh, trading up again. Gold getting a nice little pop here. Right now trading at 14.70.20. Uh, again, good little uptick there. We'll see how it plays out. It closed at, uh, I believe, yesterday. That eh, doesn't even matter. Uh, either way, stock's getting, uh, the uh, commodity's getting a good little pop. We'll leave it at that. Um, I don't see this thing really soaring and roaring, but I do think it's very range bound at the time being. So if you take a look at the daily chart, you'll see my support lines in here. They have held so far. Um, but, you know, again, you've been making lower highs on the daily. So we want to keep an eye on that. Uh, but right now getting a nice little uptick this morning. Here we have crude oil also getting a little bit of a bid. That's trading at uh, 57.49. So crude oil this morning trading up about 36 cents. We'll leave it there. It was up higher, but it did fade a little bit. So still holding on to some positive gains. Nothing much that looks all that uh, spectacular for oil right now. But nonetheless, it's holding up. With that being said, once again, if you have not done so, come on over. Check out the live day trading room. You can trade right alongside of us. We're having a great 2019. We've got some earnings in play today. So let's see if we can get some good action out here. With that being said, I'm going to leave it here short and sweet. Don't forget tonight, November 14th, 7 p.m., Scene of the Crime trading webinar. I will be conducting that myself. That will be at 7 p.m. this evening. If you have not done so, come over to the website and in the money stocks. You could sign up for it there. Have a great trading day, everybody. We'll see you a little bit later on the charts.